<laughs> you talk about uh, Bristol, you have 20 mathematicians and actuaries. Who were yeah. they? Um, where, where, when, well, where I think it's slightly, slightly conflated that we do have an artificial intelligence team and big data analytics working on our insurance business. But none of them were deployed in the, uh, in, in the referendum campaign. I'm just saying that there was not people on artificial intelligence and big data analytics working on the referendum. It was conflated. Yeah. So were these, these, uh, were these actuaries employed by the insurance business? They didn't work on the referendum. That's what I, I, can't, I don't know how else I can plainly put it. It was pretty apparent where you, know, you had to present. And, it was everywhere. and just so you know how that worked, pe people who phoned up and joined, they would pay money to join Leave.eu as a campaign. That ended up itself, what, for 50,000 people? No, That's no, miles more than that. Oh, OK, well, it's a chunk. The technology uh, that, that used to artificial intelligence, which, funnily enough, we're now using in our business, so we've had some good business wins out of it. But essentially, with a very large poll of nearly 20,000 people and using artificial intelligence on social media, we got the, the result within 0.1%, 52-48. So actually, the... the technology around using social media to work out trends is much more powerful than traditional polling companies who uh, their methodology is if i look at our own direct insurance business we've got a team of over 25 people now working directly on artificial intelligence we've linked up with the university of mississippi with um, stanford and various other places